Alright, now this is going to be the update video. I'm going to show you, uh, I went, in the last video I showed you I went to final round. But, uh, I also got a couple things since I haven't talked to you guys in, like, two months or something like that. Um, I haven't gotten a lot of time because of school to, to enjoy these things as much as I want. But, I got a few more things. First thing was, uh, Final Fantasy 13, boy. Man, if you haven't played a Final Fantasy, then you're crazy. But if you haven't, but if you this, if you want to play one, play this one. It's a good place to start because it's uh, the beginning is is easy. It gets a lot harder, but it kind of sucks you in, and it's good because some of the things that I. I've played lots of Final Fantasies. I've played uh, two. I've played uh, or one, two, four, six, uh, seven, and ten. And I haven't really beaten any of them actually because there's something about them that I, they're great games. I have lots of fun with them, but they're really long. And I just get kind of drawn to something else because it, it takes like so long to play them, and I kind of, I kind of don't keep playing them constantly. So I get I get onto a new thing, and then I get stuck on that before I finish finish the game. But I can definitely see myself getting finishing this. The other RPG that I've uh, I've come close I've beaten like Pokemon and stuff like that because that's you know it's not like that but uh most RPGs I don't finish I mean my favorite RPG is Chrono Trigger and I've gotten really close to beating that I got it on PlayStation I played it on Super Nintendo I got it for my DS and everything I'm definitely gonna finish that pretty soon but uh that's my favorite but this one I can also see myself finishing because some of the things, another reason that I didn't finish the old Final Fantasies is because they get a little repetitive because the combat's all the same and there was no uh, dialogue in most of the other ones I've played. This one's completely dialogue and the fighting system, I love it. It takes a little bit to get used to at first, but once you figure it out, there's lots of strategy in it and you only control one character so you don't have to worry about everything. And the big deal that I hated about most RPGs that I play is that you you have to like your your characters don't heal at the end of the game or at the end of a match. Your characters heal at the end of the match like this, so it takes a lot of the a lot of the stuff that that gets tiring out of RPGs. And the story in this is is magnificent. I know some people some people got mad because there's no towns and whatever, but it goes with the story. I mean, it'd be weird if you had towns and everything, and it's it has a con constant pace where it just keeps sucking you in and sucking you in. I've only played about, like, 10 hours to 12 hours of this game because of all my schoolwork, but it's a good game. Uh... I'll, I'll keep you updated once I uh, get further into it, but I'm loving it. And, uh, I also got the strategy guide, too, because I don't usually buy strategy guides, but for RPGs, I tend to get them sometimes, because there's so much intricate details and technical stuff in RPGs that I like to, uh, make sure my party is getting good and stuff, but that's just the way I play. It's fun. And I know I mentioned Pokemon earlier. I got Pokemon Silver. Now, you don't, don't be hating on me or anything. I, I grew up with Pokemon. I used to play the blue version. I got that when it first came out. I was probably like nine years old or something. We used to play this junk at school all the time. I used to play the card game. I mean, if you guys haven't played Pokemon, I know that little, the little kid show gave it a bad name as a as a some th something kiddish but the games and even the card game to an extent was really cool I don't play the card game anymore but 
I was into it back in the day. I used to go to the store every or the bookstore every week and challenge and trade and all that stuff, man. So I grew up with Pokemon, so I haven't played any since Silver and Gold came out, and then I I heard about these ones and I wanted to go back cuz I was nostalgic about the game and it's a lot like I remember only with better graphics. And uh it's cool, man. I got this actually on Amazon for $25 cuz I got a a $10 gift certificate with uh with uh Tatsunoko versus Capcom for getting that on Amazon, so I just decided to get this. And it's great. I love it. I've been playing it actually more than Final Fantasy cuz it's portable and when I'm out and about and I actually do get a little bit of free time, I can play. But I still haven't gotten that far in it. I only got the second badge, just like earlier today. But it's a lot of fun. And finally, you guys knew this was coming. Bam! The Dragon Box, Volume 2. I just got this yesterday. I went to Best Buy. I've been wanting it for a while. It's been out for a little while. You know, I did my whole review about the first one. I'll probably go ahead and... I haven't even opened this yet because I haven't had time to watch any of the episodes, but I'll open this up right now after this video and uh, I'll do my unboxing and then after that I'll probably do my review after watching a few of the episodes. So I'll check you back soon. Later.